Hey guys, it's Ben from Ben's Garage, and today we're going to be looking at how to tear down electric motors. Uh, this one came out of a vacuum cleaner, and this one came out of a dehumidifier. So uh, I'm just going to teach you how to take them apart so you can get a lot more money out of scrap value for them. Alright, so on most vacuum cleaner motors, there will be an outside cover that is metal. Uh, we have to take off that outside cover. So uh, on this particular motor, there are Phillips head screws that line around the outside of it. So we're just going to take these screws off, and then that'll get us to the inside of the motor. So now I just took off all of the screws, so this cover should just pull right off. Now in my case, uh, it's very damaged on the outside, so I need to apply force to get it out. So now the cover is off. We want to set this aside because it is... Uh, still usable. I have a magnetic screwdriver and it sticks on here so this is steel so we're just going to put this aside. And now we're here in the actual part of the, the motor here and I'm glad I didn't start it up because there is uh, looks like dog hair or something that got stuck in here and that could catch on fire so I'm glad I didn't start that. But anyways so now I'm just going to so now I'm just going to get a hammer and all you have to do is just hammer the, the shaft here and hold on to this base and then the whole thing should just pop right out. Just like that. And so now on the inside there are some copper wiring that can be unraveled. And this is what we're going to work with next. Uh, this we're going to put this aside because this can still go in as copper. I think it still goes in as a motor though. But there is absolutely no way to tear these things down as of what I know. So I'm just going to put this aside and I'm just going to focus on this. So you'll notice on, on your electric motor, you'll have to take apart the connectors. Uh, there's one here, and there's one here, and there's uh, just a Phillips head on there, so you just have to take those. Okay, so once you get everything hammered out and the connectors pulled off, uh, the little part inside should just pull right off. And it's pretty difficult for me because I busted up this... Uh, this little motor in my last video for taking apart a scrap vacuum cleaner, so it's going to take a little while for me. Alright, so when you finally get it out, just pull it apart, put this in the little metal pile that we have on the side over here, and uh, now we're back to our coils. And uh, I'm just going to show you how to take them apart and get them off of this metal base. So the first thing that you need is, uh, so the first thing that you need is to cut off the zip ties that are keeping them together. Then you want to disconnect the previous wires from the coil. Alright, so you should find like a wire that's disconnected up here on the top. Uh, this one's moved aside, this one was moved aside, and uh, here's one that's loose. So you just simply want to go through the cables, back through, pull it out, and you just keep going until you unravel it completely. And then you do the same thing on the other side. So then once you finish up, just take the last wire out, and we're still going to hold on to this because this, uh, I believe, yep, this is steel, so this is just going to go back in the steel pile. And now how to organize all of the copper that you just unstrung because it looks like a mess right now. Uh, I'm just going to clip this off because then they'll consider me for wasted weight. So then all you need to do now is just to bunch them together, back and forth like this. And then you just keep going along like that, and then you just twist them together. So once you get to the end here, just uh, tie it up, just wrap it around. And then crimp in the other ones. And then what I like to do is to just fold it once more. And that is just that was just one side, I believe. Yep, and I have another side to go. And so that's what you get out of a vacuum cleaner motor. You get a little bit of copper, you get a lot of steel, and a little bit of some other copper miscellaneous. So that's how to scrap a little electric motor. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.